Hello, Nuggets. I haven't made a blog for a few days um, because, uh, well, frankly, I've been depressed. <laughs> it's this circumcision. Um, it's weird. There's definitely some psychological issues going on as well, you know. Um, apart from the fact that every time I look in the mirror, I'm looking at, you know, scar tissue and stitches and angry, swollen thing like honestly that's just disturbing to look at because I got so used to you know when I curse when I gave it a cursory glance before it was you know it was looked like it looked um so just the look of it is kind of weird to me but um I'm regretting doing it to be honest with you I mean I know it's only um what is it six days was it Thursday I got it done what day are we now hang on a week I could have done a week ago today. Um, and I, I know that's early days and I've been reading a lot of online forums about it and people saying it was a nightmare for a while, but then they look back on it and say, you know, I'm glad I did it. But then there's a lot of people who look back and go, no, I'm not glad I did it. You know, um, not not for the effect on the sex life. I'm not, I'm not really so worried about that because I think it'll be fine. I mean, it's crazy sensitive right now, so <laughs> I think it's going to be fine. Just more about just changing a part of myself, which I was comfortable with, you know. I didn't really have many options because of the phimosis. I mean, you know, there's they can try creams, but the doctor said they don't really work, to be honest with you. Um, and I haven't found anything online that says they do work. There's this other thing where they kind of cut it a little bit um, that sounded like it looked really ugly. Um so I went for the circumcision. I think I'd have taken number two, actually. Because then you still have the foreskin that still protects the, the, the penis. And there's just this basically one scar on it where you look at it and, you know, it looks a little different. But I think I'd have done that because this is unbearable. I'm so lucky I work from home because there's no way I could go to work. I can't walk. I can't. I'm hobbling everywhere. I walk at like a snail's pace, you know. and And everything I do is like so is about the circumcision now everything i do you know if i have to go to the bathroom if i have to go for a pee i'm like okay let's go do this thing and it's all very cautious and just pulling up my shorts like oh ah, ah, you know and it's, it's just frustrating as hell and then there's the stress of am i healing okay is it supposed to look like that is it you know i don't know i guess it's just um i think as a man you want to just blast through that stuff you know we're all hollywood movie heroes you know like lost an arm let's just move on and it is i guess in that context it's just nothing it's just circumcision but you know uh yeah it's got a psychological effect i'm depressed about it not gonna lie i think a lot of it is also to do with the fact that i feel so helpless i feel just unable to do anything you know it's just like walking around we i, I we went we went to the market the other day and I was like, okay, let's go to the market. Let's just do this thing. We're go I'm going to go out. We're going to go. We're going to go to the market. So I'm hobbling around the market, leaning on <laughs> the uh, shopping cart. And and it just made me miserable. I'm, I'm, I'm having to say to Laura, I'm like, hey, will you take the stuff in? I, you know, because I can lift stuff. It's not like I'm, I'm, you know, I've got a broken back. But any altering in my movement can send a jolt of pain, you know. You know, sleeping is a nightmare. I haven't been sleeping you know, I got three hours sleep the night before, so I thought last night I'd sleep. I was up till four in the morning, and it's because just anything touches it, I wake up, you know. And of course, you're in bed, of course things touch it. And we have two dogs as well, which is just also stressful. Two little dogs, so they're always like wanting to jump up. And I'm just <laughs> so anyway, I want to do a check and say that right now, yeah, just, I could cry. It's a miserable feeling. Really don't want to do it. So I didn't write for two days. Or rather, I didn't write yesterday. I just couldn't. I was in such pain yesterday. The pain came back. That's the other thing. It got worse yesterday. Like, way worse than it's been before. Um, which freaked me out. So I sent a, a text to the doctor. Um, or I sent a message to the doctor. He hasn't replied yet. I'm going to have to follow up on that. It's a little better today. Um, but, the, you know, the, the, the pain, and so I couldn't write because just yesterday I was just, I just looked rough. It was just a challenge to get into the shower. Um, but um, I wrote a 
before the day before because I forced myself to do it then I had that really bad day yesterday and then today I was feeling really terrible when I woke up but I forced myself to do a couple of hours so um yeah just not making good decisions while I'm in it as well I think also you know here's the point of the log (laughs) I didn't know this but now I do you know that saying about how true character shown under duress I'm hacking that but you know what I mean right the idea that your real character isn't your day to day because that's easy it's what about when you're under pressure it's what about when you're in a difficult situation what do you show yourself then I think I'm also depressed because I'm an absolute nightmare when I'm like this I'm useless you know I'm I'm not a good husband Um, I'm I'm whiny and moany and um, I'm moody I'm really moody, like I, I'm easy to start an argument with and I don't do my job and I can't put it to one side and get on with my life and just say like, okay, you're in pain. And there are people out there who live with pain every day of their lives. It's been a week and it's not excruciating pain. It's not It's not like the worst feeling I've ever had in my life. It's just, just constant. It's just constant pain. Like right now, it hurts. You know, it's only a four. It's not heavy. But I'm just not good, and so my character I've been, has been revealed to myself that it's not very good in this situation. And that depresses me. You know, I mean, I think I kind of thought that anyway. I kind of knew that. But you kind of skirt through life and, like, try and avoid situations where that part, the part of your psyche, of your makeup that you don't like, you just avoid it. You're like, well, just don't do things that show that part of me because that's my weak point. Well, I can't avoid this. So for a week, I'm ambulatory for want of a better word I should I should have a better word I'm a writer um, but I, I'm vulnerable and when I'm vulnerable I'm a bit of an arsehole and that's fucking depressing so I'm hoping it just gets better every day oh I, I, I stopped wearing underwear that is better just so you know um, nothing rubbing against just free ball in it is way better but then I'm not going out I'm sitting down all day because I can't move so who knows but anyway I want to do a check in just to give you the straight truth, man. This is where we're at. Hopefully, the next few logs will be me again. Hey, it's getting better. It's getting better. And maybe this is like my ear surgery. I had ear surgery, so I had a, something called a stapedectomy, which is where the the little wishbone in your ear that vibrates and and helps translate the uh, the sound vibrations into electrical signals that your brain goes, oh, I know what that is. This is what it sounds like. Well, mine had cartilage in it or something, tiny little thing. So about six or seven years ago, uh, 2012, seven years ago, I had it um, removed and they put a titanium one in, a a fake one, to improve my hearing. And it worked, I I think, I don't know. But I remember when I went through that, I was thinking, this is the worst thing in the world. Why did I get this done? Um, So it might just be uh, cultural, temporal relativism as it were. I think I just made that phrase up. But where I'm feeling this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> I sound like such an idiot. But still, that this is the worst thing. But then I felt terrible during that one. Because that one I literally couldn't walk because my balance was off. I was just kind of... I was just sitting on the couch for three days staring into space and it freaked my wife out. At least now I am still me. I'm just in pain. But this feels worse. This feels worse because every time I pee, it's a nightmare and... Everything I do is focused on this. It's just what, you know. All right. That's it. I'm going to stop the logs. Depressing. All right. Send out love. What's that? Uh, there's a movie called Buck, which is about a horse trainer or horse whisperer. And he says this phrase in it, which is just love on it, man. Love on it. I love that phrase. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to love on it. Try and feel happy. Force myself to smile. Be more like my wife who manages to smile no matter what's happening. She's just got a way of doing it. So I'm going to channel my wife and have a better day. All right. I love you. Love everyone. Bye.